All right, let's just listen to the clown and just see, 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 see what he has to say. So the clown is always Elmo here. Gave his top five quarterbacks in the NFL. And listen, okay, when Elmo talks, I know automatically it's going to be number one is Patrick Mahomes. I don't really care. I really don't care at this point. But it's the other... Let's just listen to it, okay? Let's just listen. Yesterday on TV, you said your top five quarterbacks in the NFL are Mahomes, Allen, Burrow, and Stroud with the fifth spot up in the air. Uh, Nick's fifth best quarterback is... I'd probably... All right, before we listen to Elmo there. All right, so he said it's Patrick number one, which we already know that. That's his boyfriend. He loves him. They, you know, do some very magical stuff together at the Neverland Ranch, okay? I don't care about that one. Number two, Josh Allen. I thought at least he had the logic to put Burrow as number two. At least, and again, like I said, every time I expect anything from these analysts, that's Elmo here. I get disappointed. But number two is Josh Allen. Okay. Number three is Joe Burrow. Number four is CJ Stroud. I think put Joe as number two. Well, I think Joe's number one. But beside the point, uh, it, Elmo's world here. Number one, if you want to put Patrick Mahomes, okay. Number two, then it would be Joe no matter what. Three, I would say Allen. That's kind of my list. It's My list right now is Joe number one, Patrick number two. Number three is Allen. And number four, I'd probably put CJ Shot as well. But I'm really high on CJ Shot. I think he's going to be a great quarterback. But that's kind of my list, right? Number five, okay. You think Allen's crazy being number two. Listen to his number five. And again, if you're like, whoa, you can't put C.J. Stroud that high up the list yet. You know, he's still, he's coming off a rookie season. He's, he's early in his career. You can't do that. Listen to his number five then. I'll go Caleb, but if you guys don't want me to put a rookie, I'll say Stafford. And I know people think I'm being disrespectful to Lamar. I'm just being honest. What exactly does Lamar need to do to be a top five quarterback? I mean, I don't know. Not every... First off, first off, I don't know if you heard Elmo there because sometimes he kind of mumbles. He said Caleb Williams. That's right. Just a little side note here. That's his top five list right there. Caleb Williams. And then said, if I can't put Caleb as number five, it's Stafford. <sighs> Elmo's world. It, he, he keeps me in. He keeps me smiling in the offseason. When this is the logic that I get. Caleb boy, what a game! <laughs> like, listen, bro. I get the disrespect for Lamar to a certain degree, but I mean, you're gonna tell me that Caleb Williams is better than a two-time MVP and made the NC Championship game now in Lamar's defense, lost but made it. You're gonna tell me that like Caleb Williams, who's never played an NFL snap, is already better than Lamar Jackson. That's, um, that's crazy. Just let's listen to the last 20 seconds of what he says here. Every single year of the worst game of the season in the playoffs. Wait, what'd you say? Sorry. What did you say? Every single year of his career. I mean, he scored more than 10 points in a home conference championship game. I don't know. I like Lamar. I root for Lamar. If I'm being honest, do I think he's one of the five best quarterbacks in football? I don't. True. Which, again, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not going to, like... These four quarterbacks, okay, put them in whatever order you want to. Those are the top four in the NFL. I would honestly, I would go as far to say Lamar is over CJ Stroud. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't, I can't joke like that. I would say Lamar is number five, man. Lamar is number five in my opinion. I think he's a great quarterback. I don't think he's better than Patrick. I don't think he's better than Allen. I don't think he's better than Burrow. I don't think he's better than Stroud. I think he is a great quarterback. I have mint number five. He's a top five quarterback in the NFL. Every time I get my top five rankings, Lamar is to me in top five. But Caleb Williams? See, this is why in PFF did this the other day. Like, Elmo, Elmo's world, I don't really care too much about in all honesty. I just like to laugh at whenever he says any crap like this because it's funny to me. But 
PFF the other day had Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malik Neighbors and Roman Duce all in a ranking for this upcoming season and where they rank and how, you know, all three of those receivers I just said, they have them ranked, them ranked above T. Higgins. T. Higgins has played, what, three, four seasons now? Actually, he's played since 20... He got drafted the same year as... Yeah, because... Wait. T. got drafted the same year as Joe, right? He was our second round pick. No, he didn't. T. got drafted in 2019? Is he the 2019... Uh, wait. This year, his final year of his contract... Yeah, it would be 2020, I believe. If I am correct here. Might be 2019. I think it's 2020. Yup, he was 2020. Okay, I was correct. So he was a 33rd overall pick in 2020. He's been in the league now for four seasons, okay? Four-year rookie contract. That's right. Four seasons, he's been in the league. Bro. He's not better than the receivers who've never played football at the NFL level. Like, this whole rookies are already, like... Being ranked at the top 5, top 10. Like, C.J. Stroud, he's played a whole entire season, okay? He went to the playoffs. He beat the Browns. He lost to the Ravens. But he at least got to the playoffs in his rookie year. Went through the whole, you know, trial and tribulations. One rookie of the year. He has proven himself that he can be a playoff quarterback and win a playoff game. Okay? That's 100%. And have a better playoff record than Lamar Jackson. Beside the point. Caleb Williams, stop this crap. See, this is why quarterbacks, rookie quarterbacks, make the league. And this is why they fail. This is why they fail. Because they join, people overhype them, act like they're going to be the best thing ever, expect them to take over a franchise day one, and be the best quarterback ever. Because they're drafted, you know, very highly. And then they end up not, you know, meeting expectations right away. Fan bases turn on them. Fans hate them. Call them boss. Call them trash. And then that player goes ahead and fails in the NFL. And it's because of the fact that everyone overhypes them. Like, I think Tom Brady said it best when he said that, you know, these guys, they need a year to develop. They need a, a year to kind of sit back and learn and, you know, not be overhyped and overdone to a point where, yeah, they're not going to be good. It's impossible to live up to half the hype that Caleb Williams, like Caleb Williams could be a great quarterback, right? He could be a, a the best Bears quarterback of all time in the end, right? And that's not saying let's get the Bears quarterback class over the century as not mean that great, but he could be the best quarterback. He will never live up to the hype of what people are hyping him up to be, even if he is the best Bears quarterback of all time. Even if Caleb Williams goes out there and wins two Super Bowls, he will never live up to the hype. Because people have been saying this guy is going to be the best quarterback of all time for the last three or four years. You had Sean Payton talk about it on um, different shows, different, you know, before he became a coach again. He was talking about it. He was saying he's the one quarterback I would come out of retirement to coach. Like, there's been so much about Caleb Williams that Caleb Williams will never live up to the hype that he has been talked about. He never will. I don't care. Win five Super Bowls? They're saying that this guy's going to be better than Mahomes. Mahomes probably will win more than five in his career. I hope not. But it's a potential, right? He's already has two. Actually, he already has three. Sorry. He already has three. So he'll probably, he might win two more in his career. He'll play for the next 15 years, always possible. But my point is, like, he'll never live up to the hype. He never will. Because he was supposed to be better than Mahomes. He's Mahomes reincarnated, right? He's the same thing as Mahomes. And if Mahomes wins five, then Caleb has to win seven. Well, what about Brady? Like, it's, it's never going to, he's never going to live up to it. And what the problem is with a lot of these quarterbacks is that's why they fail. Because they don't live up to the hype that these unrealistic expectations are put upon them. And then they end up 
being bad. Now, I'm not saying every quarterback's like that. There are quarterbacks who are just bust, okay? There are a lot of quarterbacks who are just bust. But there's a lot of quarterbacks who aren't bust, who become bust because of this. So, rant aside. Elmo's world, you're an idiot.